<laughs> yeah, what the devil are you? What are you? What are you? Anyway, so I recently upgraded my turntable just slightly up to the 80 LPW 50 PB. Bit of a mouthful, okay? Uh, and I upgraded from the 80 LP3. Now, the LP3 is a decent turntable, and uh, I actually upgraded the cartridge to the same cartridge this has got which is the 8095 vm95e so they both have the same cartridge uh, so anyway so i just wanted to compare the two to see whether it's worth spending the extra 100 quid or whatever on the on the lpw50 so let's start with the lp3 so the lp3 is a fully automatic turntable uh, so uh, it's got 33 and 45 on the front here and start stop buttons and it will auto return when it's finished uh, but the only thing because it's because it's automatic it doesn't have a little clip here which this one does little clip that goes over to hold it in position so if you jolt if you jolt it or move it or something it could jump out so just you know you've got to be wary of that now I have an issue with the buttons being on the front here I would prefer the buttons to be here on the inside audio technica listen okay now the reason for this is when i have children and my, and my younger child tends to press these buttons so i'll put the arm up and i've got the cover on and this is what happened last time right so my child comes along and sees that and presses that button well nothing happens but as soon as you turn it on In the plug on and it'll automatically go on to the record okay which is not great now I managed to catch it in time I managed to catch it in time and just to stop it landing on that going blah, 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 blah. okay I was like what completely destroy my stylus so this is why I don't like the buttons on the front. And also, this is a man thing. I've had adults come up and go, oh, amazing, cool, oh, oh. And then they're messing with it. Get off my bloody turntable. And that's what happens. So I think these, this will be, these will be better inside. Um, okay, so it's got a plastic base, got the feet on it, which are sort of cushioned a little bit. Um, got your 45 here. 45 insert uh, if you've got it doesn't really you don't really get them in the UK but it's in the US and other countries you do get the middle missing out of the 45s so you can use that now this has a plastic base where this one has an MDF base this has adjustable feet so if you've got a, a bit of a wonky sort of table or surface you can adjust the feet on that to make it dead level this you can't adjust the feet on this it is what it is so this has got an aluminium uh, tone arm and this one has a carbon fiber. Now carbon fiber is supposed to be less resonance going through it. Although I don't know, you know, there's some debate on whether that's true or not, but this has got a carbon fiber. This has got uh, an aluminium tone arm. The tracking force and uh, the anti-skate are both the same. Uh, so you set a two on here, two on that, two on the anti-skate, two on the anti-skate. Now the LP3 comes with a, a conical, a bonded conical stylus, and it's the A991R. So it's an okay, it's okay, but um, I upgraded it to the um, the AT VM95E cartridge. So I changed the cartridge on this, and I'll put a link to that where I did change the cartridge. There so you can have a look at that, um, or there it'll be. <laughs> now, so this now has the same cartridge as the LPW50 so on the LPW50 this is fully manual okay so you you've got a button here look nothing on the front and you can press or turn when the lids down it's all safe hidden away uh, so you've got your stop here your 33 and 45 now I will say with the button on this it feels uh, it feels expensive it feels more premium 
okay whereas this these are a little bit clunky you can hear them but that's really nice little click on that and it feels really secure just a bit more premium so you've got your 33 there and you've got your 45 there and like i said it's got adjustable feet and also it's got the mdf base which is a bit weightier a bit more solid and again that cuts down on resonance okay so on the back you've got your power in power in here now the lpw50 has an on off switch at the back the lp3 doesn't have an off switch now uh, with the rca cables <coughs> the lp3 uh, they're fixed you can't take them off and on the ground cable and the rca leads are fixed in there so you've only got these you can't change them for anything else but with the um, lpw50 you can put your own rca cables in because it comes with cables very similar to this uh, which aren't the best cables and also they don't fit brilliantly onto the connections so i i upgraded them for my own rca cables um, not special they were only you know a tenner or something but they were better than the ones it came with so as you can see you've got your rcas here and your ground cable there now you can change from moving magnet to moving coil uh, on the lp3 but you don't have an option for this on the lpw50 it's just it's just moving magnet only so you can only use a moving magnet you can't use a moving coil which is whatever okay they both have a, a phono stage built in so you can use them with some powered speakers or something if you wanted to um, but i tend to use um, my own phono stage in my amplifier which is better than the built-in phono stages on these uh, in all fairness i've tested both phono stages and there's not much they're okay they they do a job but they're not as good as an external phono stage a decent external phono stage so i'd always recommend if you get these either get an amp with a good phono stage or an external phono stage rather than use the phonos built into here so i've got them i've got them but so if you put it online and there that'll use the phono stage i've got it on phono for external phono here and when it comes to looks where the, the lpw50 is a clear winner it's a beautiful looking turntable i mean you know the lp3 looks okay but come on look how nice that looks uh, the lpw50 is just a, a far classier looking turntable uh, i mean i really like it compared to the lp3 so considering these two have the same cartridge because uh, I've upgraded this one which one sounds better and is there even a difference so I've compared the two but I've had to do a separate video because of copyright I don't want to get this video copyrighted and you know so I, I've done a separate video so what I'm, gonna, what I'm going to do now is to pause this video uh, put a link up here there okay and a link in the description box below so you can go and have a look at that video or have a listen i should say i mean you could look as well you don't have to close your eyes <laughs> okay and you can come back then and tell me in the comment section which one you thought was the best so i'm going to pause right now <laughs> okay so what did you think uh well in my personal opinion okay i wouldn't say it was night and day uh upgrading the cartridge has made this a slightly better turntable and and for the prices they're both good turntables in their price range uh, but i would say the lpw 50 does sound better um i felt it had better bass uh, the bass was more coherent a bit tighter a bit deeper i thought the mid ranges were slightly more in front you could hear the guitars and the voices cl more clearly it had a better sound stage just a little bit better sound stage and better stereo separation i would say though that the lp3 held its own it wasn't you know 
it wasn't a huge difference although I did find that the LP3 was slightly brighter um, and I wouldn't say it's down to the fact that these styluses have been used one more than the other I, I would I said they've been used pretty much about the same so yeah it was just the treble was slightly better but I would say that the mids were just laid a little bit more laid back than the LPW50. Anyway, what did you guys think? Please let me know in the comment section. I'd love to know your thoughts. And also what you've got to justify is, so I bought, I got a really good deal on this, 150 pounds in a sale. Um, but uh, you can get an LP3 you know, for around about 200 they're going for at the moment. And to get, uh, the VM95E cartridge is about 40 quid. So you're looking at all in with an upgraded cartridge, it's about 240. This one now is going for, you do see them on sale for about 300, but normally they're around about 350. So you've got to bear in mind that this is going to be about 110 pound more once you've upgraded the cartridge on this. So is this worth the extra 110 pounds? For me personally, I think it is, just because the bloody looks of it. It just it just fits in with my hi-fi system much nicer. And look, you know, you could say who cares about looks? But most of, and most of us do care about aesthetics. You want it to look nice as well, sound good. Um, I think so anyway, but that's my opinion. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Give it a like. Don't give it a like. Whatevs. Subscribe. Don't subscribe. <laughs> Whatevs. But subscribe. <laughs> Okay, that's the end of the video. Catch you in the next one.